So before I start today's video, I want to preface it by saying this one thing, that my opinions on Call of Duty are entirely my own and completely subjective. How you feel about Call of Duty is entirely up to you, to be honest. I don't really care in the end. I'm just kind of using this video to kind of vent about my frustration about the game and the franchise as a whole. And, you know, if you like the video, go right ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't really give a shit. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Don't really care. YouTube doesn't show me the fucking dislikes on the video except in my stats anyway. Which is another fucking thing I should talk about in the future, which I think is stupid as shit. But with that being said, let's get right to the video. So over time, I have found it increasingly difficult to enjoy a Call of Duty game. The last time I have enjoyed a Call of Duty game was Call of Duty World War II. And I find that to be a kind of shocking statement considering it was one of the more, at the time anyway, polarizing Call of Duty titles because it needed to be quote unquote fixed halfway through its lifespan. And it was fixed. You know, I still played it during the rougher times, but I enjoy it much more now with all the changes that they had that have been implemented into the game. And then we fast forward to Black Ops 4, which I only played for like three or four months. And I didn't enjoy it at all. I think it was probably one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. And I think I've gone on record saying it in all of my years of gaming. It might have been one of the most unfun experiences I've ever had. So I quit that game. Never intend to touch it. Never intend to watch it on streams or anything. Even if any of my friends play it. I just think that game is a steaming pile of shit. And I don't understand how people actually enjoy it. But again, my opinion's entirely subjective. And then we move on to Modern Warfare, which is an entire mess in its own right. There's not much I can say on that game that I haven't said already. I only played the betas, I didn't enjoy the game, I never purchased the game, and I'm glad that I saved my $60. And then we move on to Black Ops Cold War. Played the beta, didn't fucking enjoy it. I think I enjoyed the 2v2 alpha though. That was actually kind of fun, but the overall game... Not really the experience I was hoping it would be. And I just didn't enjoy it, so I didn't purchase it. Saved myself another $60. And now we come to Call of Duty Vanguard. Which, I said it before, and I'll say it again. If you liked Modern Warfare, you'll probably like this game. If you're like me, and you hated Modern Warfare, then you have no reason to ever purchase this game. I played the game in the beta, I gave it a shot in hopes that maybe it wasn't going to be as bad as Modern Warfare. Did not enjoy it at all. And I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. I think part of it is because I've regressed as a player. Because I'm still trying to, I've said this before, and I, I'm still trying to get my aim down moving to PC. I was much better when it comes to aiming guns and shooting and my reaction time. When I was playing on my TV, and then when I plugged everything into my PC... I just find it to be a much more difficult change than I thought it would be. And I'm not sure if it's the distance of my face to my monitor or where my computer is in my room. I don't know. I think part of it has to do with the fact that I just can't aim shit anymore. I think the other part of it is just because the community is just terrible. The way these people play these games just makes it unfun for me as a player. Now, I used to think over 10 years ago now, when I bought Black Ops 1, which is still my favorite Call of Duty of all time, no Call of Duty I've played has ever compared to it, and the only ones that have come close was maybe Modern Warfare 3. I thought to myself, man, Call of Duty's so cool, I can't wait to buy more of them as they come out every year. And then Modern Warfare 3 came along, thought it was a pretty solid game. Then Black Ops 2 came along. Thought it was an average game, not nearly as good as people make it out to be nowadays. But that's again my subjective opinion. And then Ghost came out. Never fucking purchased it, because to me the game was so visually hideous that I, I just didn't see a point in ever buying it. And it seems as though I lucked out, because that's kind of when Call of Duty started to go downhill anyway. And then we had the whole Advanced Warfare debacle and the three years of jumping Call of Duties, which... You know, we all know my take on Black Ops 3, so I don't even have to go and, you know, beat that dead horse again. It's just hard to enjoy Call of Duty, especially over the last, you know, half a decade or so. I just haven't enjoyed the installments of the game. I was really hoping that Vanguard was going to be something different, 
and when I saw that it was going to be another World War II game, after many of the Battlefield Five players had already been burned pretty bad, including myself with that game, I thought to myself, fuck that, why would I want to buy another World War II game after the one game I, you know, kind of enjoy, but still had a whole lot of problems playing with? You know, they just, they kind of abandoned it, and they never really gave us a proper World War II experience. And that's the thing with Vanguard. I don't think Vanguard, unless maybe if you play Campaign, is a proper World War II experience. That's just kind of my problem with it. So I'm kind of making this video to, I guess, ask the question, if you've left Call of Duty for other games that you enjoy, what is it going to take for you to go back to Call of Duty? I think the only thing, and the only thing, I can think of that would ever remotely get me interested in ever playing anything regarding Call of Duty again is if they just do remasters. Is if they just remaster some classic games for a couple of years, like two years at most, I'm not saying the all three year cycles gotta be remasters, and start from the drawing board. Listen to the community and listen to the feedback that we've given you about things that we don't want in the game and apply it. And I think that's the problem. When they make these games, they don't listen to the feedback of the prior games. They just keep doing the same fucking thing, expecting us to like it. It was the same thing with loot boxes. It was the same thing with when SBMM started becoming really prevalent and becoming a heated topic. They don't make any necessary changes. I think by remastering older games... I've talked about rumors of, you know, Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer being reported. I know other people in the community have talked about it, you know, that it's finished and they just haven't fixed it because they think people will not like it, which I don't fucking know how. I don't know where the logic in that line of thinking is. And then you can remaster Black Ops 1, which I think a lot of people were hoping were going to come with Call of Duty Cold War or Black Ops Cold War because I think at that point was the 10 year anniversary of the game. So, why not? That would have maybe boosted sales like it did for Infinite Warfare, because I'm pretty sure no one would have ordered the game if Modern Warfare Remastered didn't come with it. And even then, you can remaster Modern Warfare 3, or just remaster the entire Modern Warfare series, all three storylines put together in one file, remaster the multiplayer maps, kind of keep it in like the same Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 style of create a class or class system and just let the people go to town. That's what I would do anyway. I mean, that's just, again, this is all just my opinion. I don't know what it takes to make a game. I don't know what it takes to market a game. I think people would enjoy something like that. Yeah, it would be recycled content, but I think there would still be some fun to be had in that. It'll be kind of like what Battlefield 2042 has done in regards to Portal and how they ported a couple of maps from the older games and a couple of weapons from the older games and kind of put it all under one banner with similar rule sets. Now granted, like I said in my Battlefield 2042 review video, the games all play drastically differently compared to one another. So I think there's got to be some way to balance that sort of deal that I don't think Battlefield did very well. But I think it could be done. And then same thing with Black Ops and Black Ops 2. OG Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Kind of just remaster them and... I wouldn't say put them together because I don't think it would fit nearly as well. Maybe remaster the campaigns and put them together. But just give us a solid multiplayer experience? I don't know. I'm just throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. You know? To me, something like that for a couple of years is what will take me to play Call of Duty again. And then when they finally have some decent ideas and some decent game designs and they give us a beta and it comes out good, maybe I'll purchase it then. I don't know what that would be. None of us will know. But as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't be making a new Call of Duty until like 2023 or 2024. Because I think the community is kind of getting sick and tired of the shit that's been going on. And really the only thing Call of Duty or even Activision as a whole has kind of cared about is Warzone anyway and you all know my feeling on Battle Royales I just don't play them because I find them to be a repetitive boring experience especially if you're not very good at them like I am and that's me being openly honest I'm not good at Battle Royales so I don't enjoy them because all I'm going to be doing is going back to the main menu and playing a game for five minutes and then dying and doing the same thing again like what do I care 
I just fucking play something different. So that's kind of like my little mini rant. And I'm curious to know what you guys think about it, to be honest. You know, am I crazy? Am I... Are there some ideas in there that are kind of useful? I don't know. I just want to play a Call of Duty game that's actually worth my time. Because, as I said before, there's been a solid three and a half, four years or so where Call of Duty hasn't been worth my time. And I've been relying on my friend Dante, who plays these games religiously for some reason. Maybe he's fucked in the head, I don't know. I love the guy, but Dante, I really question your mental uh, your mental health playing these games all the time. And he's been the one uh, providing me content, which I greatly appreciate, because he keeps this channel going. That's all I have to say. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Leave a like on the video, and follow me on all the social media links you see down in the description, as well as support the 69 Whiskey Podcast. See you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and most importantly, take care of each other.